products, our MyPillow 2.0. It's been amazing the last three days. And uh, with the, the, pour, the pouring out of Lindell pleads with the MAGA crowd to save his failing business in this next clip. Watch this. I just want to make sure we understand where you're coming from. You're prepared to take this to the bitter end, even if that means the bankruptcy and liquidation of my pillow, sir. You, we don't have a country if we don't win this, everybody. So, you know what? My, my employees, everybody understands that, and they are. Uh, they're counting on you and the War Room Posse, and you guys have come through. And all of the products are my pillow 2.0. It's been amazing the last three days. And uh, with the the, pour, the pouring out of some. Mike Lindell, infamous owner of the My Pillow Company, is on the road to bankruptcy, not just morally, but in his own finances. Thanks to a decisive blow after criminal investigations into his shady business resulted in sponsors withdrawing from the MAGA tied CEO. I guess being associated with the mega successful Donald Trump is actually more of a liability than Lindell realized and things only get worse one of the things so i'll give you a prelude uh, american express i wasn't going to say this we've been with them 15 years and we do all of our online marketing and all our shipping with them out of the blue they took our credit line from a million dollars down to a hundred thousand just cripples my pillow no reason no explanation just dropped it down last tuesday after a slew of controversial claims and criminal investigations into fraudulent activity, Mike Lindell is willing to put the livelihood of his company and over 2,500 employees on the line. For who? Yeah, that's right. Donald Trump. More specifically, for the lie that the 2020 election was stolen from the former president. But we all know that this isn't true. We lived it. Election deniers have been laughed out of court for their ridiculous, non-substantial claims. And scrutinized harshly, both in court and in the public eye, for spinning lies that undermine the integrity of our democratic process. And if the fate of folks like Carrie Lake and Marjorie Taylor Greene have any indication, Mike has a disastrous fall from grace coming towards him. Yeah, there last year it actually was three separate loans as the as the machine companies continue to sue us for billions of dollars. And um, we had to borrow almost $10 million at my pillow. We're a company, we're an employee-owned company. I just baffles me, Steve. You've got all these companies are these machine companies out there, these voting machine companies that nobody even knew their name before, but everybody protects them. And yet you attack a USA company, my pillow and my employees and it's just disgusting. Still, Lindell continues to sink money and assets into the failing endeavor and seems to be getting even more desperate, joining his alt-right buddy Steve Bannon on his show The War Room to advertise his products to a uninterested crowd and spread the MAGA misinformation. And you never gave up instead of getting attacked and attacked and attacked because you knew we get this one chance or we lose the American dream forever. And that's it. We lose our country. There is a bright side to all this, though. Hey, if we're wrong, it's the end, it's, it's end times. We all us believers go to heaven. It's, you know, it's a win-win, right? You know? <laughs> but. What Lindell ultimately didn't realize is that his campaign of libel and fraud, coming with some costly consequences, was going to come back to bite him. If any one of you out there had evidence of a cyber attack on our country by China and others, you'd want to get it to the officials. You'd want to tell the world about it. Anybody would. So I did. What did I get for What do I get for that? I get attacked, attacked by the media, all the media across the world. And here, um, they, and what, what do I get? All the box stores. Don't let Mike set the tone on this fall from grace. 
because Republicans are always taking any opportunity to play victim and whistleblow to the silent majority. But the silent right is not a majority. It is a misinformed, manipulated electorate that doesn't believe in facts and doesn't believe in democracy. At the very least, Mike Lindell spins a cautionary tale that when it comes to siding with Trump, you're bound to pay a hefty price. This is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.